my name is Maureen Spargo and I'm a Senior Research and Innovation Programme Manager for the Medicines Optimization and Innovation Centre. This is a regional centre in Northern Ireland which is dedicated to improving health outcomes by initiating, developing and sharing best practice with regards to medicines use. And my name is Nicola Goodfellow. I'm also a research programme manager at the Medicines Optimization and Innovation Centre in Northern Ireland. And as programme managers, we each manage a portfolio of research, service development and audit projects to support the work of MOIC. Through our work, we collaborate with partners across Europe and throughout the world to share, learn, engage with best practices and bring new innovations back to Northern Ireland. So SHAPE stands for Smart and Healthy Aging Through People Engaging with Supportive Systems and it's an innovation action of the EU Horizon 2020 funding programme. So SHAPE is exploring how technology can enable the older population to live healthier lives for longer at home. So the aim is to create a central technology platform from which many partner organisations across Europe can contribute or deploy a range of practical and reliable digital solutions for supporting people's health and care needs. From the perspectives of caring for older people with multi multiple health conditions, having access to digital products that have been developed specifically to improve medicines use and safety from within people's own homes is hugely beneficial and can help shape how multimorbidity can be managed in an increasingly digital society. So the pilot campaign will establish the feasibility of implementing this type of platform in different healthcare settings across Europe. It will provide insights as to how the platform could fit into different aspects of service users' lives. And within this project, there are seven pilot themes investigating the various potential uses for the platform. They include smart living environment for healthy aging at home, improving in-home and community-based care, medicines control and optimization, psychosocial and cognitive stimulation, promoting well-being, caring for older individuals with neurodegenerative diseases, um, physical rehabilitation at home, and finally, cross-border health data exchange. So within each pilot theme, selected digital solutions will be adapted, integrated and deployed and evaluated in different real life circumstances. Um, a use case is a specific situation in which the product or service could potentially be used within shapes. And we have a number of different use cases that are being piloted to investigate the different ways in which the SHAPES platform could benefit these users. So the MOIC is leading medicines control and optimization pilot theme. So this pilot is focused on identifying, managing and improving deficiencies in adherence to treatment in older individuals who are living with reduced functions or capabilities due to chronic age-related illnesses and they're living in their own homes. We're also, provide, we're also piloting a specific use case within the pilot theme in which the SHAPES platform and selected digital solutions will be deployed to a target population composed of people aged 65 years and older and who are living at home with heart failure and diabetes. So the selected digital solutions will be used to monitor participants' health conditions remotely. So this largely takes the form of the participant measuring their own clinical parameters, for instance, their heart rate, their blood pressure, or their blood glucose using a Bluetooth enabled device that synchronizes with a patient held app. So that data is then shared securely with a healthcare practitioner. So any changes in a participant's health status can then be identified early and managed appropriately. The system also permits for sophisticated data and analytics to 
or, or artificial intelligence to enhance patient care and offers healthcare practitioners the tools to provide a really highly personalized service to patients such as offering recommendations and reminders to improve adherence and optimize medicines use. Yes, so we are working with a technical partner to develop a risk prediction tool, which will help us identify participants who may be at a higher risk of an acute heart failure decompensation episode. And by identifying these higher risk individuals, we may be able to intervene to optimize medication use and hopefully prevent worsening symptoms from occurring.